These lorries should be delivering food to supermarkets. Instead, they're sat idle at this haulage company in Newport because there just aren't enough drivers. This is at crisis point already. The, the situation is absolutely down and out dire. And, and it's, up, it's, it's absolutely not sustainable to continue as we are. As, it's as tough as we've known in our history of almost 50 years. And, and with absolutely no doubt, we've got major supermarkets chasing us down every day because we just physically cannot, no matter what we do, get, get drivers in the seats to, to, to steer them every day. It's been blamed on post-Brexit immigration controls and a backlog of HGV tests after the pandemic. With so many hoops for drivers to jump through, the problem's starting to show up on supermarket shelves. The issues around the supply of food chain and, and the drinks, obviously, to the public at the minute is, is at in absolute dire need. To combat that, the Welsh government's supporting Welsh food suppliers like this to plug shortages in the supply chain with homegrown produce. That's allowed this small, family-run business to go from local farmers' markets to major retailers. Your food is made right here in Wales. How does it feel then to walk around a Welsh supermarket and see your product on the shelves? Um, every time I see a product on the shelf, I always have a few little goosebumps. It's, it's something that, you know, we, we've made this happen. And we are stocked in, in Morrisons throughout Wales, but to see them if, you know, on, on the shelves of more of the supermarkets would be amazing. The idea is that we ensure that our fantastic Welsh food and drink producers are able to sell right across the UK. We're looking for new suppliers, and not just the, the big supermarkets, but also the small independent shops. And Samosa Co is a classic example of how we've supported them. That support aims to get Welsh food products like this onto supermarket shelves in Wales and across the UK. But the question for those on the supply chain, like Ian, is can that fill the gaps created by Brexit and Covid? While the Welsh Government can help brands like this secure deals with supermarkets, they still need drivers to get the food to the public. So we don't have many levers, it is the UK Government that hold the major levers. So for instance the HGV tests, the backlog that obviously is, is due to the pandemic, that is an issue that the UK Government lead on. But I'm very happy uh, to support where I can, as I say I will be having a meeting uh, later on this evening with the DEFRA Secretary of State. And what are you hoping to hear? Well what I'm hoping to hear is that they've got a plan, one, to deal with the backlog and two, to ensure that we are able to have overseas drivers. Brexit's had a, an impact on the number of EU nationals that have been able to move freely. We saw it last year with people not coming uh, to our farms in Wales to, to help with the picking season, for instance. And unfortunately, we're seeing it with drivers this year. The UK government has promised to work with industry leaders to attract new drivers, keep them in the job and simplify training. They say they understand the challenges faced by drivers and operators and that this government is here to help. That help will be necessary to get trucks out of the depot and back on the roads delivering Welsh produce. Jerem Breith Kerr, ITV News.